Hey Taurus. All right, so I'm going to do a reading for Taurus. I woke up to do these readings. I think I explained already with the, um, for Virgo, but not, you know, obviously you wouldn't know. Um, it got a little hectic in Miami and we came back pretty quickly. So I just haven't had time to get the readings up. And last night was a little bit busy as well. So that's why I'm now in the bathroom hallway doing the readings once again. Uh, there wasn't another spot in the house where I could um, comfortably do these readings without bothering somebody, even though it's 2 a.m. Even it, like in my house, you just never know who's going to be up or who's going to be sleeping and where. Um, it's like a frat house, but none of us are college students. <laughs> kind of bizarre but all right Taurus what messages do we have for Taurus they're they're pulling oh Jesus they're pulling hard Taurus you have the tower immediately so we'll figure out what this is about what is this tower about for Taurus Ooh. Ah, oh, this is interesting. You could be have had some sort of relationship with the Virgo because of what Virgo just got. So a little backstory is Virgo got the tower in reverse and um, also the ace of swords in reverse because they obviously need to have some sort of communication with somebody. You have the tower with the ace of swords upright, which means that some sort of communication is going to cause this tower um, some sort of but obviously, you know, clear communication, but maybe not necessarily the nicest communication. I don't want to take that card. I feel like it came out unnecessarily. I hate when this happens. <clears throat> okay, you could have been involved with the water sign. And somebody's holding back their emotions now. Um, something happened here between you and another person that is causing you to sort of want to block out the betrayal or, or not face the facts of it all. Um, skeletons in the closet, you know what I'm saying? Like they're going to come back. Judgment is popping up and the, and the, and the shit's coming to the surface and it has to be dealt with. Um, your person is, um, the empress in reverse. So they're not feeling really good about themselves right now. I don't know exactly what happened, but just know that between you holding back some emotions and them, it's sad because you're like actually like leaking emotions here. You may be crying. You may be dealing with it however you deal with, um, uh, you know, upset. Everybody's different. I, I like to be alone. Some people want to be out with friends, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, you feel it's, it's it could be a fire sign. Um, you feel some sort of... Uh, like tie to this person uh there's the devil the devil can be like an addiction but i'm not feeling like it's an addiction in this case i feel like you're just feeling like really emotionally tied to this person could be like some sort of karmic situation um we have the king of wands in reverse there's an insecurity there there's a like a questioning of oneself because of whatever happened um I don't know what happened. It's not telling me as of yet. So just take it as it resonates. Um, somebody may have been giving to some other parties, basically, is what it's saying here. Because um, We have the Seven of Cups, which tells me there's been a lot of options. <clears throat> we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse, which tells me they were probably even spending money on these other people or oh, spending money to look better, um, even possibly for situations like this or, you know, nicer car, you know, jewelry, whatever it is, <clears throat> in order to impress other people. Um, that's what it looks like to me. So I guess this is, this could be a situation where 
um, if you are monogamous, because not everybody is, you know, um, you, your person was definitely not um, doing this correctly. They're, they are, they are upset about it. Like, if you were wondering if they have any guilt, they have a ton of guilt, actually. And they do want to reach out and, like, offer you everything. Um, the Ace of Pentacles is here. It's like, you know, here, like, what can I do to fix this? Like, they definitely want to fix it. And they are willing to go through, like, whatever it is to, to prove it to you. Um, they have a lot of gratitude for you. You wouldn't know it by their actions, obviously, but they do. They do have a lot of gratitude. It, it pops up here. They realize, like, you are their person and that they have failed. <clears throat> um, I'm sorry. I'm, like, so flummy tonight. Like, I don't know. Maybe I dare you or some shit. Um, I don't like it. I don't like this. Let's see what what's the outcome of this because I really don't like this reading. I feel like there's a, a like a bit of narcissism in this reading. Um, I, I've had experience with people like this. Uh, I think we all have. So it's a little scary. I don't think you're gonna go through with it. I'm gonna be honest with you. <clears throat> I don't. Death is your last card, which tells me there's change. And with the two cards before it being the two of swords in reverse and the um, star in reverse, it tells me like this is no longer what you want. You you see what they did. There isn't a way to fix it. Um, I'm sure you appreciate the effort, but like it's done and over with. It, you're, you're laying this to rest. And uh, that's all I have for you, Taurus. Enjoy.